This is Ruben once again with Julosophy. If you liked any of my past videos, please subscribe to the channel. Please like or comment on the video. It will be greatly appreciated. Today I want to talk about success breeds success. Success breeds success. You know, Aristotle Onassis said, we talked about Aristotle Onassis, became the richest man on planet Earth. He said that if he was flat broke, the first thing he would do is associate with wealthy people. That's the first thing he would do. He, he didn't say, oh, I'm going a, I'm to a do a plan. I'm going to write a business plan. Oh, uh, I'm going I'm to, you know, go to college. Oh, I'm going to, you know, read this book or, 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 or get. The first thing he said he was going to do is associate with, associate with wealthy people. Why did he say that? Because success breeds success. Remember when we talked about how the brain, how Albert Einstein and Thomas Edison and many more people discovered that the brain is a transmitter, a broadcaster, and a receiver of frequency. You know, if, if for those of you who haven't read the book, The Hundred Monkey Syndrome, I suggest you read that book and I will do a video on it in the future. And you will see how this is true. It's a scientific experiment. <clears throat> and there's been many scientific experiments that have proven this to be true. We can measure now your vibrations coming out of your brain. And we can measure them. So, when you're next to a successful person, remember, they're also transmitting vibrations, frequencies. And you're receiving them. This is why, you know, there's people who, they get next to a person and they say, you know, I really like that person. I really felt good, you know, next to that person. Well, the vibration was right. They had positive, peaceful thoughts. Does you you receive them and you were influenced? See, they don't control you, but you get influenced. It's like that little voice in your head. That's how these vibrations work. It's that little voice in your head. Success breeds success. You know, there's people in... In many parts of the country, of the world, uh, for example, India, where these people have such high vibrations that people stand in lines, in lines, long lines, just to give them a hug. And when they give them a hug, they feel this feeling. You know, because of the broadcasting of frequencies and you receive them. The same thing with this. You receive the frequencies of these successful people. Thus, you get inspired. You get energized. And you're like, oh man, you know, I just met with this, with this person who's worth millions of dollars. And I just got motivated. I just got really inspired to do it. And this is why mentorship is, has been practiced throughout history with really only successful people, with the wealthy, because they know these secrets. You know, for example, if people who were born in, in, in not in low-income families, they don't know this. They, they don't know this information, this knowledge. You know, it's in books, but low-income people, I mean, they, they're really, they're not engaged into the system of books, audios, and, and events. So how can they really get this information? And Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki talks about how low-income families worry more about security than actual growth. <clears throat> they want you to go to college and get a job than to set out and do what you want to do, what you're feeling, what you love to do. You know, So it's hard for low-income families to get this information. It's out there. It's in books. It's in audios. And this is why mentorship it, it has been played 
it has been played a big role throughout history in, in wealthy families. And nowadays, it's in middle class family. They're starting to pick up on this, on what apprenticeship is, on what mentorship is. Not only do you get great advice and great knowledge, but you get inspired. It's that feeling. I mean, we've all felt it. We've, get, we've gotten next to a person and we feel a certain way. Sometimes we feel negative. We're like, oh, I really don't feel right with this person. I don't know they give a vibe it's vibes then you, you could get next to another person and you feel like man you know, i like this person you know he seems pretty honest and i have a feeling about this but i don't know why i mean we all felt it <coughs> this is why because remember you're you're a receiver of frequency also a broadcaster but they also are broadcasters of frequencies and receivers just like you so you receive their frequencies and even if you have a negative frequency and they have a more positive frequency, the positive frequency is 10 times stronger than the negative frequency. So that's why it's hard to negatively influence positive people because their positive vibration counteracts it almost like 10 times stronger. But the powerful positive vibration can have a good influence on you it's much stronger than your negative one <clears throat> you know that's why um if a person who has a very high vibration is very positive they could walk in into a room where there's 10 or 20 individuals who are feeling sad or maybe a tragedy happened and this person just by walking in and their presence gives off a feeling of peace May and makes the room feel much better. That's how powerful this information is. It could get you to that level. That's why success breeds success. Because of that and because of the advice they can give you and the knowledge they can give you. You want to get better and you want to become the best version of whatever you want to do. Get next to a person who has a, who is really successful at doing that. If I want to get my communication better, I get next to a person who is really good at communication. Get their advice. And just by their vibration, I will be greatly positively influenced as well. Success breeds success. We talked about the, the momentum cycle and the success cycle. I made a video on this. How... Success creates confidence, confidence creates activity, activity creates habits, and habits create success. So, so, and success creates more success. When you get success, you get confidence. That will allow you to do activity, to make you want to do activity, and that activity will cause you to form it as a habit, and thus you get more success. It's the law of attraction. When you think positive, when you think positive thoughts, you attract more positive thoughts. And again, if you think more negative thoughts, you attract more negative thoughts. That's why when people start getting really negative, it's like a spiral downward. The same thing happens with when you think positive, you go upward. Get next to positive people, people who have success. And that will influence you to be successful. There's a great saying that my mother used to always say, and, and many people say it, you know. Tell me who your friends are, and I'll tell you who you are. You know, usually a crowd of friends, if they're friends, they're usually at the same income level. They're at the same emotional level. A physical level, like their lives are similar. If the, another person does, if, if a circle, if people doing drugs in that circle and you've never done drugs, if you hang with them long enough, you'll start doing drugs as well. The same thing with positive. If you start hanging with people who love to read books, love to listen to audios, love to go on events and are positive and, 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 and have a positive outlook on life, on life, if you hang around them long enough, you will become that too. <clears throat> 
That's why listening to our, to these these videos and watching these videos over and over again is important. That's why repeat the repetition process is important because you become this information. Success breeds success. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, subscribe to the channel, like, comment on the video. See you guys next time.